What's going on, everybody? Never mind the algorithm. It's Ryan Kidd, and I am the human B-side, baby. Come on, cheer. Raise it, Ryan. The only channel on YouTube bringing you the real deal rock and roll goods so you can get your kicks in style, baby. Satisfaction is guaranteed. Come on. you to meet me on the street where nobody lives cause it's time to testify it's time to rock and roll it's time to be somebody baby come on think about it Program. It's time to get with the program. Come on. Started out with uh, the incredible Kidda Band from uh, 1979, Fighting My Way Back to You. A great little power pop rock and roll number. Uh, we got to listen to a little more. Great song. Fight my way back to you, Fink. Come on. So, uh, hey, everybody. How's it going out there? It's Ryan Kidd, and I'm the human B-side, man. It's time for a brand new Vinyl Finds. And uh, I opened up the show today with uh, the incredible Kidd band, Fighting My Way Back to You from 1979. I'll show you the cover, but it doesn't have a cover. Uh, it came in a plain white sleeve. Uh, it was uh, reissued by Almost Ready Records from uh, Brooklyn. Uh, so... Uh, I, I played this one first because it, it, the riff in the first song I'm going to show you from this band, it's like exactly the same. And I, I remember hearing it. Uh, somebody posted this album, uh, the first one I'm going to show you. And I was like, dude, it's killing me what this riff is. I can't remember. It was uh, Johnny Sick. I think his channel posted this record. I was like, it's killing me. And he, he shot me right back. He goes, incredible kid of band. I was Oh, that's it, man. So I got to open it up with this one. And uh, I'm going to play it again real quick before we play the just the intro so you can hear how close these riffs really are. But uh, I have uh, four excellent records to show you. Uh, I got a little behind on the vinyl find. So these are records from like late last year, uh, all from 2023. Uh, we started in 79, but then we're like time warping ahead to 2023. And we're staying there, man. We're going to rock. We got bands from all over the world, man. Thanks, everybody, for joining me. One of my favorite things to do is uh, hang out with you and listen to some punk records and some rock and roll records. The cool thing about this Vinyl Finds is uh, it's all 2023, but none of these records sound the same at all. I mean, uh, it just, it's, a really, it's, it's really cool to see such, how it's such a wide spectrum of rock and roll. And you know, if people tell you like, nothing good is coming out that's new, they're just not paying attention because these are four completely different bands that are just killing it. Uh, but all in the same, you know, rock and roll vein. So real quick, before I play the first song on the Vinyl Finds, I'm going to play that riff real quick. So it's just ingrained in your head, okay? So you can listen to this riff and then listen to the riff of the first record, okay? So you heard that, right? Great song, man. The Kidda Band had some great tunes, man. I like, um, my favorite is uh, Bullet in My Heart. That's the best tune to me. I love that song. The first record we're going to talk about today is Buy This Now by the Uni Boys. Uh, masterful power pop, man. Just an excellent, excellent band. Uh, I have their record they did before this. Um, 
the uni boys do it all next week, which I thought was great. And Buy This Now is right on par with it, man, I think. I think it's great. And uh, so you heard that kid of band intro. And uh, here is the song Let's Watch a Movie by the Uni Boys on luxurious red wax. All right, break out the polka dots, baby. It's time to get some power pop going here, man. I hope you got a dentist nearby, man. Keep one nearby because this stuff is sweet. Let's watch a movie. It's the same riff, man. Out the antibiotics, baby. It's infectious. Come on. Uh, I love that song, man. You got to watch a video for it, too. They made a music video, and it's really funny. Um, but, like, I brought out a bunch of records uh, that I wanted to listen to after listening to this. And, you know, not, um, you know, not like the, like I was just talking about the records, not the usual suspects, man, like uh, the records or um, uh, marbles or pointed sticks and, you know, stuff like that. I brought out some different stuff this time, you know. Um, and then maybe some more obvious ones, too. But uh, I want to play the third song uh, on this record. I, I really enjoyed it, too. Um, uh, what, it's Hiding in My Home. I really like this one, too. Down to the City is the next song, which is really good. It's a pretty upbeat. Uh, Hiding in My Home I can really uh, relate to because most of the time I hide in my home just buried in rock and roll records, Budweiser and uh, some frozen pizzas or something. <laughs> but... Uh, you know, I, I could definitely relate to it. But uh, it, it's a really fun record. Um, oh, I got to tell you, too, man. It's like freezing in Memphis right now. It's it's like uh, 17 degrees and it's snowed or whatever. A record like this, man, could make a 18-degree de day in Memphis feel like 70 degrees, man. And put you in a good mood. But the band also does a really good job. at. Um, there's uh, like some melancholy undertones with some of the... Um, some of the the uh, melodies and I, I like that. Uh, they 
the the sadness you know there's always a sadness to power pop as well as uh, the the highs of power pop are very high and the lows of power pop are very low and they do a really good job at uh, kind of invoking that sadness as well too but uh, i'm gonna play this song hiding in my home uh i it boasts a lyric that i love uh it is <laughs> i really like this lyric oh yeah uh, it's just talking and feeling rotten. I'd rather stay in bed in order to take out food and eat it in the nude. So here it is, the Uni Boys with uh, Hiding in My Home. Then I'm going to show you a bunch of the records I brought out. Uh, uh, what I was list- when, After I listened to this, I wanted to listen to. So. Cheers, everybody. Come on. It's going to be a long one. I'm rocking today, man. Tibbles. You want to go out. It's a great power pop single. I want a way out. I have no time for it. I got some things to do. It's just talking. It's just talking. feeling rotten. The whiffs. I'd rather stay in bed in order to take out food. Eat it in the news. I'm hiding in my home. If you need that. If I need show with these guys once in New York. They're really good. Really good band. Great tunes, man. Uh, we listened to Let's Watch a Movie and Hiding in My Home. Uh, I brought out a few more. You know, I was talking about the classics and stuff. Like, uh, you know, if I listen to this, I would, so like Paul Collins beat first record, the first two, like, uh, I would listen to. But uh, I actually really love this record. I think this was around, like, 2000 or something. What, what year was this? That doesn't say. On there. I'll find out. It's around. It's it's in the early two thousands. It's called Ribbon of Gold, and this is a fantastic Paul Collins beat record, man. I, I it might be like, ah, oh man. I, the first one is obviously number one for me, and uh, the second one is good. Kids are the same, but I like this one too. It's probably number three for me. Actually, I showed that band the connection. I played a show in New York with that band, and Paul Collins put that show on, and it was like a power pop festival. Whatever we were like the the outsider punk bands on it, but they were cool. The Power Pop Kids are cool, man. Uh, oh, I got this too. I hadn't uh, brought this out in a while, but uh, it's a uh, Titan. It's all pop. It's all bands from uh, Kansas City and Nebraska. Um, all Power Pop, great stuff, man. It's a little box set thing, you know. Uh, the boys, but not the boys from England. The boys from Nebraska. Um, gems. Uh, there's a bunch of cool bands on it. The Secrets are on it as well. Yeah, th- this is really cool. Right 
Titan. It's all pop. That was the first vinyl find, man. And now for something completely different. So let's take uh, the Uni Boys off. Uh, sugary sweet, man. Some fizzy pop for you. But uh, then we're gonna uh, we're gonna really turn it around here. Definitely going to need another beer for this one. Cheers, everybody. Thanks for hanging out, man. This next one, ferocious. Complete ferocity. Look, once uh, this, 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 uh, this guy once a precocious neophyte, now one of the uh, titans of the day. Titans of punk of the day. And I started his own uh, label called Rock Records and put this EP out. Check out this cover. It's hilarious. It's a Sick Thoughts. Drew Owens, Sick Thoughts. Uh, born to Blitzkrieg, baby. Crank it up, man. Check it out. Come on. Rock it. Enjoy this. I got to get another beer. So that's the first song. That's the first cut on this EP, man. It's called Sick Thoughts. And uh, definitely uh, the most intense, okay? The rest of them kind of follow more of a, a mid-tempo kind of style. Like, I don't know. It's, it's weird because this EP, I feel like... So, all right. The, uh, the album before this, the EP, uh, Heaven Is No Fun, was like one of my favorite records of that year. It was very... All the songs are great, very uniform. This one's not very uniform because you got that like super like out of the gate intense, uh, sick thoughts. So. Hellraiser's a little more mid tempo. It's probably my second favorite on the EP. Flip it over, Schoolgirls and Chains. <laughs> it's a great song title. It is out there, man. It's pretty wild. Uh, but it's also like it's not it's not an, a uniform EP. Not that that's bad or anything, but. Or, you know, it might seem a little hodgepodge uh, here and there. Uh, and the last song, I'll get to the last song after this one. But uh, Hellraiser uh, is the song we're going to hear next by Sick Thoughts. I'll show you some of the records I brought out. It didn't really make me want to, I'll just show you what I brought out after listening to this. Look at the back, dude. <laughs> Sick Thoughts Refrigeration. <laughs> this is crazy, man. I love it. But uh, it's a phone, man. I'm Rock Records. Here's uh, Sick Thoughts and Hellraiser. I love this intro, man. It's like an oi kind of intro, you know? Something like Sham or like Cockney Rejects would have going on. That's ripping, man. Oh, 
Overdrive. The last screw is turning loose inside my mind. Overdose. Charlie Ungry, that's a cool name. The Daryl Reed Group, Backstreet Urchin, baby, on the streets tonight. I start, one on three, so we can live again. The dog slash your face. The with the slime, the parts of the dead. Broke a bottle, shattered glass, searing. Vile tone, screaming fist. Crush Butler. On Crush. There's some guitar work on this uh, EP that's just absolutely fantastic. New Order, and not that New Order for you dance types. I'm talking about the one featuring Ron Ashen and Dennis Thompson, baby. Eddie Chris group, Undertaker. This features uh, Wayne Kramer. Yeah, Hellraiser, man. That's a good tune. Yeah, I love the, the the rest of the songs have more of like a rock and roll feel than that first song that just has like a straight up uh, punk rock attack, man, I, which I love. You know, it's great. I think that first song is probably the best one on it. But the, the last song, "My Heart Is Breaking Over You," okay. Uh, I, when I listened to it, I thought immediately that it was a cover because it kind of has that vibe uh, that he did like that Limps cover on the last record. That uh, uh, you know, uh, I love that so, someone I can talk to. It's a great song, you know. And that's what this the, the last song kind of gives me the vibe of, and the music. Honestly, the music of that the the composition is absolutely perfection. It's perfect seventy seven style sound. Uh, it's the lyrics that lose me in it that I can't. I just can't get into it. Uh, but musically, I think it's brilliant, and I think the, I think the EP is fucking great, man. But uh, that's it, man. Sick thoughts. Born to Blitzkrieg. Killer, killer stuff, man. Looking forward to another full length from uh, Drew Owen. Oh, I brought this out too. You know, I, that uh, that cover is so ridiculous. It's so silly, man. So it made me think of like, uh, it immediately made me think of uh, the David Peel on the Lower East Side, the American Revolution with him on the you know the boat to the Delaware, but you know he's in front of New York City, he's in front of the river. That is hilarious to me. This is a great record. The first, the first song on it is hilarious. It's a rocker, uh, Lower East Side. I should play it. Ah, man. Yeah, stick with the vinyl fives. Man. So, all right, we're gonna now it's something for uh, another thing that's completely different. Okay, we heard uh, some great power pop from the Uni Boys. Then we heard some unadulterated, just <laughs> you know, onslaught of uh, fury by uh, Sick Thoughts. So I'm gonna put that Sick Thoughts record away, and I'm gonna. Play uh, something uh, from Australia. No, I, yeah, you can't believe it, right? It's Australia. But uh, uh, something from Australia that's got a, a lot of a, a 60s kind of taste uh, from, a, from a very good band. So l- let's get into that. Uh, I don't know if this is done on purpose, but it looks like somebody took a little bite out of this uh, label here. Once again, these are all from 2023. Some great rockers from 2023, man. This one's on almost like a cotton candy looking thing. You want to take a bite out of this thing, man? Uh, Ghana Records. This is uh, the new Alien Nose Job. Let me take it out of the plastic here. I'm getting too much glare on it. 
an instant Australian garage pop classic from Jake Robertson. Awesome meeting the school damage. We all know that. Baby Blue Vinyl. Ghana Records, man. Alien Nose Job. The derivative sounds of or a dog always returns to its vomit. Now, this has a complete 60s sound to it. It's fantastic, man, what he's doing. Uh, Jake Robertson's really like a chameleon of rock and roll. Because if you listen to this last album, uh, it was a stained glass. It's over here. Uh, I brought out Paint It Clear. <laughs> it's funny. It's a funny name. Uh, and then Stained Glass. Stained Glass was uh, tied with that Sick Thoughts. I think they came out in the same year that Heaven Is No Fun. For my favorite record of that year. I mean, this is complete rock and roll. It's a it's a great rock and roll record. Uh, it's, it's and it's sung with just such spite and vitriol, man. I I, I love it. Uh, but uh, it's completely different than the new record, which I like, man. It keeps you on your toes. It keeps you guessing, you know. And uh, but. You can tell what he's going for in this new one, which is a great 60s sound. Uh, or maybe some of the, like, 80s revival kind of style stuff, too. Um, but he executes it uh, successfully, I think. And I'll just play some songs from it. Uh, I'll play I'm Lost. I'll play the, the first song on the record. You can get a little uh, taste of it. And I'll show you some records that I brought out uh, when I was listening to it. I wanted to listen to it. Uh, alien nose job, derivative sounds of, or a dog always returns to its vomit. This record may have you pushing too hard. This record may cause a psychotic reaction, but enough talk, talk. Let's listen to Alien Nose Job. I hit the post there. You, know? you can see it and it's tried. The way he holds his head. The way he holds your eyes. This record made me bring out so many other records while listening to it. Monks, black time monks. This is some weird shit, man. Good stuff. The witch introduction. Sam Rock. Liars. What for? Midnight Records. Telltale Hearts. What the drum sound on this record, man. I love, love this record, man. Arthur Lee. up some action by the Jeff Dahl group. And you know that the Lime Spiders. More on Midnight Records well, from the Mighty Mofo. Not milkshakes. Again, just uh, another band mastering the sound. Yeah. I think as a whole, the B-side is my favorite, but the A-side, 
I I love uh, two songs on it. The first one I I really like. I'm gonna play the last song uh, on the A side here. There was a time I called her mine, and then I'll show you some more records I brought out. Like I said, man, this thing. I think that's the sign of a really good record. It makes you it makes you want to listen to that record again, but it also makes you want to pull out thirty different records and and listen to tracks off them. You know. So I saw Alien No Job at Goner Fest last year. It was great. I wish they played later. They were, they were like one of the first bands. I, I, you know, the sun needs to be down when they play it, I think. <laughs> we'll let this song play. And then, uh, I'm rocking today, man. It's going to be a long one, sir. Not so. Los Secos uh, seven inch box set out, man. Come on, Demolition. Memphis Greats, the box tops. Proud like a baby. Shadows of Night. Paul Revere and the Raiders. Oh, yeah. The Standales, baby. Chugging that dirty water. Count five. Psychotic reaction. It's a Nuggets compilation. Punk compilation. My favorite song on here is the Ombres. Let it all hang out, baby. Eating a Reuben sandwich with sauerkraut. I don't care, let it all happen. Searching in the wilderness, baby. 66 series, great comp. Punky kind of style, 67. Uh, Trans World Rave Up, Volume 2. <laughs> the Wild Raw Beat, Rock and Roll Punk, 64 to 66. First Nuggets comp, man. Come on. You know what this reminded me of, too? It reminded me of some of the kind of tones from the latest, the last Gentleman Jesse record. I like this record. It, this record really grew on me after a while. Man, right there. Jake Roberts. Oh, he put uh, he put the lyrics and uh, the chords to all the songs. A lot of A minors, a lot of A minor chords in there, baby. <laughs> I love it. Great tune, man. Alien Nose Job. The derivative sounds of or a dog always returns to its vomit. And you get, you know, probably some people out there, you know, oh, he's showing all, he's just showing classic stuff to count five. Uh, you know, I'm not here to reinvent the wheel, man. I'm here to make sure that shit keeps spinning, okay? <laughs> That's it, man. So I'm going to play the last uh, uh, vinyl find for you. We uh, we heard from the Uni Boys, then we heard from uh, Sick Thoughts, and then Alien Nose Job. And this last band really threw me for a loop. It was recommended uh, to me by a friend. And when I first heard it, I said, I f heard the first song. I said, okay, I get it. But I didn't get it because I didn't listen to the whole album. After listening to the whole album, holy shit, this is like, uh, you know, Jake Robinson's a chameleon through different albums. This band is a chameleon in its own album. I mean, they're, they're you know, shape-shifting through this whole album. I mean, it, you, it's like electro-punk eggy style punk you know i know a lot of people hate that term but then i mean they hit you with these grooves out of nowhere i mean it's really really fun stuff man uh, it's a band called checkpoint and the album's called drift i'll show you uh, let me take this uh alien nose job record off and then i'll play the uh checkpoint record
This is it right here. Checkpoint. Uh, the album is called uh, Drift. So it's really cool, man. I really enjoyed this record. It's a, it's a wild ride, man. It really is. I don't even know which one I want. I like Break. Break is a good tune. All right. Okay. I just got to pick one. Dude, they're all so weird. <laughs> you know, the first song, it's like, okay, I kind of expected this sound. But then, boom. It, it, I mean, it's just a, after that, it's just a race to, to weirdness. And it's great. I Like, I struggled to even... Maybe that's another sign of a great record is I struggled what to even play after this. Because <laughs> I'm like, I don't know if I have anything that even sounds like this stuff. But I'll just play a track. You tell me, you know, what you think out there. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I did bring out a few records of this, but uh, I, I, let me just play one. Playing one song off this record doesn't do it justice, you know? For that screensaver, it's a cool band. Smarts. Freak Jeans Power Station. It's fun. Oh, baby, Uchi Mama, it's Ryan Kidd, and I am the human B-side from me, from the Fink. Be good to each other. Most importantly, you got to be somebody, baby. Cheers out there. Come on. <laughs> 